Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The door doesn't close. I'm popping in from the future to let you guys know you have a few more days to pre-order your copy of the Health Nut Cookbook. It's available for pre-order right now and it just went on number one bestsellers list for Amazon.ca. Number one, so crazy, it's not even out yet. The official release date is September 3rd and now is the perfect time to pre-order because it's on sale right now, which is such a great value. It's for $20 on Indigo and $17.50, I think on Amazon.com. So it's a great time to get your copy, save some money, it's an awesome deal. And you'll also get entered into our big giveaway we're doing with KitchenAid. More information will be linked down below. We're giving away a KitchenAid stand mixer as well as their scale and sifter attachment so it is a big giveaway prize and I'm really excited because I have one and I love it I use it all the time and I use it for a lot of recipes in the health nut cookbook you'll also get a 20% off discount code to the health nut shop when you pre-order uh, you just have to enter in your information on the cookbook landing page so more details down below Thank you so much to everyone who's already pre-ordered. You guys are amazing, and that, that's why we're on number one best sellers list, which is so cool. Okay, thank you, enjoy the vlog, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, well, I'll talk to you in a sec. Good morning, happy Saturday. I decided to put a little sulfur mask on my face post-shower. Uh, it was quite a rainy morning and gloomy uh, weather outside, um, but it's starting to clear up because we were thinking of doing a hike this morning, and then we thought, oh, okay, it's raining, so maybe we'll just go to the gym. But now I might, I think I might want to do a hike still. So I'm going to make some pancakes. I'm actually going to try out this like recipe. I feel like I can't talk to you guys with a straight face with this mask on. But I'm going to try out this recipe that I used to make all the time when Matt and I lived in Australia. And they were like single serve protein pancakes. Super easy. I wrote down the recipe somewhere. I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to try to eyeball it and see if it works out. And just so it's like a really quick, hearty uh, pancake recipe that we can have and then head out and do the things that we need to do p.s i've been letting my hair just air dry lately and i'm kind of loving it i yeah i can't remember the last time i blow dried my hair so just thought i'd let you know uh we're also matt has like a huge load of laundry oh look at you high five <laughs> uh so today is really exciting because we have a few house things that are, that are happening let me show you oh hi miss cashew hi gorgeous so I shared on Instagram yesterday on the Health Nut Pup Instagram, she got a new collar. This is the Harry Barker one that we have from the Health Nut Pup shop. And I like it, it's braided, it has the buckle. It's really important to have the buckle. It, it, you can adjust it better. And this one's a little bit big, so there's some hang off, but the buckles are really good because they don't, the, the ones that are the snap ones could break and I've just heard like they're not the best. So we have this one, hey Cash. She's, she's not for it right now. And in case you were wondering, this is the sulfur mask that I had on. I'll link this down below. I really like it. This is the consistency and it lasts a long time. I think, I can't remember if it was like 40 or 50 bucks. I got this in the States at Sephora, but I think you can just order it online. And I really like it. Chloe uses this like every time she's over for spot treatments. And yeah, it's really good. This is the one I sometimes sleep in as well that you guys will ask me about. Today we are getting a little bed makeover. Our new king bed that has been on back order from West Elm for like ever has finally come in. It's arriving today. I'm so excited. It's gonna be bigger and better and it's gonna match the dresser that you're sitting on right now. It's like a really nice reclaimed wood, uh, kind of golden wood color, I guess. And it looks really pretty and I'm so excited because I've been waiting impatiently for it for like months. It was supposed to come beginning of July and it is end of August now. So apparently it's very popular, it's on back order. This is the dresser that it matches. Hello, this is our mirror, you guys have seen this. And yeah, so it matches this dresser, it's gonna look really cute. I can't wait, the headboard is gorgeous and I think it's gonna really pop against the shiplap that we put up, which you guys have seen already. Don't mind our laundry that we need to do. And I'm really excited. So this bed is gonna go in our guest room here hi cashew this is the room that the current master bed will be in 
This is our mattress. So we actually were gifted this from Silk and Snow, and it is one of those roll-up mattresses. You would never know because now that it's done inflating or expanding, it's so firm and amazing, and I've heard such good things about it. I'm actually gonna insert the clips from us unboxing it right now. So even though our bed frame isn't here yet, we wanna get this out of the package, because basically, once it's delivered, you wanna unwrap it within like 72 hours, so it has a chance to expand into its original form. So we're gonna open it up and let it expand in the guest bedroom, which is right next to our bedroom, so it'll be easy to transport it over. So we also got two large king size pillows, which I'm really excited because we... We need good pillows. Yeah, I mean, you like spending, you know, half your life sleeping so you want to be sleeping on something good and that's the thing too you have to think about when you're getting a larger like a king size bed you got to get bigger like blankets and comforters and of course pillows otherwise they'll look kind of funny like they'll look too small Ooh. Ooh. does that have to expand too oh i don't know but like is it nice feel this and it's not actual um goose feathers, oh. but it feels like it and then we also got a mattress cover because it's so important guys to get a mattress protector to protect your mattress from like sweat, spills, dirt, any of that stuff. It's gonna protect it and make it last way longer. So we're really excited to actually be sleeping on this bed. It's just been in this room, not being used and I can't wait to have a new, hi Matt, hey. a new bed and even like the bedding and stuff that we've been using on the queen bed was made for the sizes for kings so it's it's been kind of like too big and slipping around everywhere so i'm just excited to finally have everything set up in our bedroom and like almost have it completed like we still need to get um curtains and stuff and some other things but it's slowly coming together okay so in this room as you guys may or may not have seen on instagram stories We've been doing some renos here. This door was not in here when we moved, so we actually put a hole in the back of our house. I know, kind of crazy. And it, it is a lot of work to put in a door. We did not do it, thankfully. We had some help from my stepdad and my uncle, but it's been like such a game changer, even just for letting Cashew out to go pee and stuff. We before had to go like all outside, all around the house. It's like first world problems, but it, it's made a huge difference and Cash has been really liking it. She can just go in and out as she pleases. And all we have to really do in here, cause right now we have like all these mats on the ground to, that are protecting the hardwood floor. But like we were done living like this. We want to clean it up today. We got, uh, we have to go pick up another can of the gray paint. So this is the color that we moved in with. Uh, but this wall here needed some repairs, new drywall and stuff when they put the electric sockets in. So we're gonna basically uh, paint this wall with two coats of gray and then just give the rest of the room like a little refresh of the gray so it all kind of matches because paint does fade after a while. So that's some of our projects today and yeah, it should be fun. And I'm gonna, actually we're gonna move the bed that's in our master room, master bedroom right now, we're gonna move that into the guest room just because we don't know when the deliver, delivery people are gonna be coming with the bed. Like, they gave us a window frame, but sometimes they come early, so we just wanna move the bed now so we can just like have breakfast, go for a hike, do our thing, and then not be stressed out if they call us early. Cause sometimes that happens. We'll call you and be like, oh, we're in the area. Do you mind if we come now? And we need to move the bed, so that's not part of their fee. <laughs> Unfortunately, I tried to ask when I, when I paid for them to set up the bed. I was like, will they also move the old bed? And they, they laughed and said no. So, you know, worth a try. Is What's going on? All right, let's move this bed. I swear I'm, help, I'm helping. Whoa. That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. I didn't really realize it until it's there. Wow. Oh man, it's like a whole extra person. Yeah. Menagerie. Not for cashew. Not for cashew. All right, let's get the bed now. Oh, 
this thing is much heavier than it looks. Okay, but it fits in here. And I was saying we still have lots of room here for shelves. All right, time to put it together and put the mattress on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The door doesn't close. Is there any other way to put this bed in? Will it fit that way? Should we measure? It should fit that way. Guys, the door doesn't close. We did not foresee this. Let me just give you an up close look at mm -hmm. that. Okay, so we're gonna measure it, see if we can put it this way, which is not the idea I had for this room, but update. This is the way the bed is going to fit in here. So it's not the best or like my ideal way because I don't think it's very feng shui. I think feng shui you're supposed to have the bed like facing the door, but it's fine. You get to face the window that looks out to a brick wall. So then for shelving, I'm actually thinking we can do something in this corner. Kind of like we had at the our last condo, we had some corner shelving in the office. So I think that will look really cute. But okay, so this room is empty now. We have the... Our new mattress in the hallway. We got Wally cleaning up. We're gonna give the floors a really good clean so that way it's all ready to go when the movers or the, the delivery guys, uh, or girls, uh, they could be girls, um, that come in and bring our new bed frame. Definitely gonna need some more liquid. So this looks way better. It looks more like a pancake consistency. So I'm hoping this will make enough for two and maybe we'll have to have something on the side of it. But I'm gonna fry it up and see how it turns out. I got my pan heating up and I'm gonna be using this great maple Lee's ghee. This stuff is so good and it just adds a really nice flavor to pancakes. So gonna use that and this is a really good brand highly recommend Lee's Ghee she has so many delicious flavors and she just came out with a bunch of teas that are really yummy too so this is what they look like I basically just made two mega ones and I'm just gonna fry them up for about three minutes on each side and see how they turn out so this is the final product I put a little maple syrup on it some almond butter banana and sunflower seeds and it looks pretty good and it's actually quite thick too so i'm gonna see what it tastes like i usually don't eat at, in the living room no that's a lie i usually eat on the couch but i'm eating on the coffee table today so let's see look at that looks pretty hearty look at that mm, wow it's almost like i remember it You can't even taste that there's protein powder in there. So good. And you got the fiber from the chia seeds. You got oats in there. They're flour free. What? Blueberries? I didn't put blueberries, but you can. Mmm. Okay, taste test, Matt. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a single serve protein pancake that you just make this quickly and eat this for one. But like, I made two. And it's hearty. Like, it's there's pretty good. Yeah? I like some of your other pancakes better. No, but this is like different. It's yeah. Not, it's not like supposed to be like light, fluffy. They're more hearty. Yeah, well, it's definitely more like hearty. Mmm. <laughs> no, it's good. good. Mm -hmm, I have compared to your other pancakes. Mm hmm. You can't. Yeah. You got some good pancake recipes. It's only sweetened with protein powder. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, I got syrup and blueberries on mine. So. Well, me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really good. So we're going to eat this. And then what's the plan? We're gonna go. Um, there's like a little festival that's happening in our town. Get some paint, paint that room. Well, maybe let's I, not do that thing Ikea. where we, we tell everybody what we're doing. Maybe IKEA. It's a bad, it's a bad vlog habit. Oh, it is so hot now. It stopped raining. The sun is out. Cashew's exhausted. 
So I didn't actually vlog any of it, but we ended up doing that street festival that I was telling you guys about. It was really nice. I got a couple of things. What did I get? Oh wait, it's sticking out here. Got these really cute, oh my God. The car came out of nowhere. Got these really cute scrunchies from this girl that makes them. So there's her contact information. So, so yeah, she hand makes them. Oh my God, I feel like such a hot, sweaty mess. It is so humid. You'd think that the rain would have broke the humidity. No, it's humid. So delivery guys are here. We're going home to go let them in and get our new bed installed. It's so exciting. Also, I'm gonna order some tacos. Uh, they had some at the festival, but I, I didn't want to like order them and then carry them in the heat So I thought I'm just gonna order them to the house from skip the dishes. So It was just too much with cashew in the heat. So and we had to leave so I was like, oh, I'll just order tacos Because uh, I've been ordering these Mexican chorizo tacos lately So good. You'll see them when they get there. They're really yummy But let's go meet the guys because we need to get the bed installed and cashew got a bandana too <laughs> Hey cashew and a cookie. Got a little doggy cookie made with oat flour, banana, carrot, and organic peanut butter. I need to start making her homemade treats. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. So how cute are these? We officially have new business cards. My old ones were so outdated, so we finally got them in. We ordered these through Moo. I will link them down below. They're really cute. And we have the one for the health nut shop which we did in a square and then just mine is in a regular re rectangle. Matt has some too. And I'm gonna just stock some of these in my wallet because I keep forgetting to do that and then I don't have business cards. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a lot of bed. This looks sick, don't you love it? Yeah. Minus the laundry in the corner. Holy crow. Oh, we can go further back. Yeah. Yeah, we can push it further back. Cashew, what do you think? Uh, they were huge dog people, so Cashew got a lot of love. How and Cash? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're going to put the mattress on here and see how it looks. Right? Oh, you can go right. You can fit under the bed, Cash. The other one you couldn't. Oh, that's good. Wally can get under there now, eh? Yeah. So to clean. <laughs> You're already thinking that, like, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. This is so sick. It's so much longer, eh? This is the best. I can sleep like this if I want. I can sleep like this. I can sleep normal. Oh my God, this is amazing. A lot of room. So this is our new mattress from Silk and Snow. They're a Canadian company, and I'm just really excited to finally have a new bed. We're gonna wash the sheets and set it all up. And I'm really excited. It's, it's huge. huge. This is the family bed huge. we need for a future family. So I'm gonna actually link them down below if you guys wanna find out more information about them. I know it can be hard to find a good mattress. We did a lot of research ourselves and we ended up just going with like what our friends recommended and because they did a ton of research. So I'm really excited. I, I'm sure this is gonna be a great sleep tonight. Also keep in mind, anytime you get a new mattress, like give it a few weeks, like I'd say at least a couple of weeks Just before. This came up to like okay, adjust. Okay, Yeah, adjust because I used to think our old mattress, I used to think I hated it because it was too soft. And then I really liked it. So give it some time and you'll your your body needs like time to readjust. So we're going I ordered some tacos. They're gonna be here soon and then we're gonna try to do a lot of stuff. Home Depot, tacos. IKEA, and what what else was it? Home Tacos. No, what where were we going? IKEA. IKEA, Home, Home Depot. Depot. Paint. We already got paint. Oh, we, we need to paint. We have to physically paint. Why do we put so much into one Saturday? I don't know. Okay. Uh -oh, yeah. Cash is coming. Cash is coming. Back. No. Here's Cashew. <laughs> no Cashew on the bed. Hmm? Bed so big it can. I know. Now have her. No. On it. And no Cashew on the bed. I will notice. We won't even. We won't even notice her now. No, we'll get still kicked off from Cashew. Mm -hmm. So these are the tacos. They're so good. So this is the Mexican chorizo with 
guac and lettuce. And then I also got some pico de gallo and these are some corn chips that they make there. I might need two hands for this. So good, and then I got my own set too because I ain't sharing. So you get five each, they're really good. It's called Mexicanada. It's delicious. So we're just going to Home Depot. We need some flowers. We need a hinge. Whoa, it's really dark. What do we need? What else do we need, Matt? Oh yeah, and we need some paint. We're so full from the tacos. Oh my god. We're back at home and we're about to paint. I'm so full and tired still from that Mexican, but we want to do it. This was on our list today and it's going to be really quick to do because it's a small room. So Matt's just mixing up or just pouring the paint. Cashew, get out of here. You're not helping. So I always get the fun job when we're painting. I have to be the cutter and Matt is the roller just because Matt can't cut <laughs> at all. Well, he can, but like it, it, he hits the ceiling. So I'm just like a perfectionist when it comes to painting. So I would rather just do it, but it's not the funnest job. It takes longer. Right, Matt? You have more patience. I yeah, know. I know. He's just like, he'll get it done, but he does it quick. So I'm going to set down the camera and we're going to roll and I'm going to cut. Wild pot to town. We had our hot date night last night. <laughs> It is actually the next morning, or no, it's like noon right now, and I just did not end the vlog. So basically yesterday we went to Ikea and we actually got a bunch of stuff for the house, including these really cute new curtains for the master bedroom, the beds all made, everything's looking really cute. I decided that I'm going to do a full vlog on the house updates and what's been going on since it still is going to be a little bit until we do like a full house tour because there's just... Always like things that you want to get done before you do like the final reveal. So I thought, I don't know, I'm out of breath. <laughs> like been running around like cleaning and organizing today. So I just thought I would give you guys kind of a recap of what happened. So we finished painting the, well, I think it's going to be an office or storage room. I'm not sure. The room that we were painting yesterday, we finished it. It looks really cute. And we've just been like, yeah, organizing, getting things done. Matt's been packing up orders for the health nut shop today and it's been a good it's been a really productive weekend actually i'm really happy with what we've gotten done so we're gonna actually go drop off orders right now to the post office and then we're gonna go for a little hike because we didn't get to go for one yesterday we just like packed too much in a day so it was really fun hopefully you guys enjoyed like just house updates and just watching us do like errands and hopefully it inspires you guys i feel like these types of vlogs always inspire me to get some stuff done around the house that i've been meaning to get done and let me know if you want to see a vlog all about just like home updates and stuff like that i'm always sharing little things that i'm doing on insta stories like i just showed today me repotting a bunch of plants and stuff maybe i'll insert that like on the side here and just yeah like things like little like tidbits and stuff um of getting the house together i sometimes share on instagram stories too so be sure to follow me on instagram follow me here at your health nut and question of the day today what is one thing in your house that you've been meaning to get to i know everyone has it so i would love to know leave me a comment down below and as always don't forget to subscribe i post here every single week we have recipes lifestyle videos and vlogs so lots of videos for you guys to watch and i will see you in my next one i hope you have a fabulous day and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye